Good morning. Well, this just came in. Yeah, today it happened. Sayyid Javid, the health secretary in the UK, he said the government has shelved the idea of the Nazi passport. Well, I don't think he used that word. I think they call it the freedom passport in the UK. Yeah. For now, he says, but could, con could reconsider the decision if cases rise very, very much. Right. So they said they wouldn't do it earlier. They said, no, we don't want any passports in the UK because it's discrimination. And then they said, yes, we are going to do it because it's about freedom or something. And now they say that they are shelving the idea. So what do you think happened here? You think they suddenly became smart? Realized, you know, we can't do this. This isn't right. We are making citizens second class citizens. We can't do this. It's wrong. You think so? I don't think so. No, I think they realize that it will not work. See? Yeah, they could make some people take it sooner if they introduce the passport. Yeah. But all the others will not take it because uh, it isn't right. You can't do this. See? They will just get pissed off. And I think the very big protests in England has been a factor here. I'm sure of it. So they are a bit scared of this now. You see, I think all the governments in all these Western countries, they will have the same problem. Making, uh, uh, creating this passport is just going to piss people off. And they can't jab everybody. This is what they want to do, or they have been told to do it, but they just can't do it. See, they have this problem now. They will have to make the shot mandatory, and this is illegal. People have to accept it see, before they are jabbed. They have to say yes to it. See, This is the law. So. Well, this is bad news, isn't it, for Bill Gates and his friends? So it's good. Yeah. yeah. I also want to tell you about this one. Yeah, this is from Poland. You know, the debate in Poland about leaving the EU sort of picked up again. This is about law, you see. The guys in Brussels, they want something called European law in Poland. Yeah, they invented this term. There's no such thing as European law. But they want this in Poland, and the Polish, they want Polish law. This is what the fuss is about. And now there is apparently a debate again about Poland leaving. Which is exactly what I want. Yeah, I want Poland to leave the EU. You will do fine. Just look at the UK. They are doing fine, you see. You will do fine, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, remember this guy Donald Tusk? This Polish guy. He was a Polish politician. He didn't do well at all. Then he came to Brussels, became some sort of a star. Yeah. And now he says, yeah, he believes that his country, he calls it his country, even though he doesn't believe in countries, yeah, he believes his country, Poland, will exit from the EU. Well, there is a chance. You can't rule this out. That's what he says. Yeah, very good. Finally, uh, about Australia. And again, this lady, Kerry Chant, the Chief Health Officer of New South Wales. Yeah, I talked about this lady before. Scary. Scary lady. She should be in... She should be starring in horror movies. Yeah. Awful. Right. So, she's the Chief Health Officer and she said... She happened to say this. I think she meant to say it. 
Yeah. She referred to the post lockdown as new world order during a press conference recently. You know, I think she believes this is good. Yeah, that people will like it. This is a popular term, New World Order, but it isn't. No, people don't like this idea. I would say, especially not Australians, maybe. Oh, nobody likes it, New World Order. But that's what she said. And she thought this would give some power to her arguments, <laughs> I suppose. And it's not the first time there was... Uh, this health, Minister of Health, Brad Hazard, I talked about this, I believe, uh, last summer he said, we got to accept that this is the new world order. He was talking about this uh, pandemic and, you know, the time that we have now. This is the new world order, he said. And now they are recommended not to use these words. There was a reporter who said, uh, no, maybe you shouldn't use this word, no. Government officials would be well advised to avoid phrases like the New World Order when they are talking at press conference, at a press conference about massive limitations on people's freedoms. <laughs> and there was another one that said, maybe not the best choice of words. Right. That's all. Be good. Bye.